Hi everyone, welcome back to Slate Secrets YouTube channel. In this video, we are reviewing an 18 inch Brazilian water wave headband wig. The Amazon Prime vendor's name is called My Love. How cute. The wig is here. Yes, it came in this super cute little bag. I love it. I can definitely use this bag. This is a reusable bag. So without further ado, let's see what's in this bag. I'm very curious. Okay, you have the wig. Ooh. Okay, so just like the title says, they give five headbands. Look at that, five headbands with the order. I love the pattern for each of them. I think this zigzag one is my favorite. And then I also like this pink one. This is pretty cute. Here's a little close up on the headbands. These are all cute. But other than that, let's look at the hair. And here she is. Let's get started. So the first topic is initial shedding. I'm going to do my normal comb through. So the wig does shed. Yes, it does shed. The shedding is very light, but ultimately she's a shedder. So definitely something to know before purchasing this wig. It does shed. The next topic is true to length. Let's go ahead and measure this wig. Starting from the first track where the headband ends, when the wig is hanging freely, I would say the sparse hair ends reach the 22 inch mark. Majority of the thickness of the hair, I would say, does stop at the 18 inch mark. So if we were to cut the hair ends, definitely cut it off to where the 18 inch mark lays, which is where most of the thickness of the hair is. So I'm going to measure a section on this wig. The section I'm going to measure will be the first track from the end of the headband. Okay, so the hair ends by the very end, literally by the end, reaches 18 inches. And you know the hair ends are no good, so we are going to cut them. We need to cut them because it's sparse, but the hair end does technically reach 18 inch from this section. So we have to give them a point, even though they made it barely, but they made it, but barely. They barely made it, so. Technically, they made it, but barely. So we have to give them a point. The next topic is smell. This wig does have a smell. How I would describe it is an in-between new slash processed hair smell. It probably smells this way from the hair dye that they use for this wig because most companies do use a hair dye for the wig. So I wouldn't be surprised when I wash the wig some black stuff comes out so that's what I'm smelling this wig has a new wig smell but also the smell of hair dye I personally don't think that the wig smells bad but you might not like the smell of hair dye either way I wash wigs before I wear them so hopefully the smell will come out after one wash only one way to find out right but this wig does not have a bad smell to me so kudos to that now texture the hair texture is soft but the problem is is when we get to the hair end the hair ends are dry and they are sparse. Like the hair ends for this wig, gotta go. These definitely have to go. It's literally only the hair ends that are dry for this wig. Like up here doesn't feel dry. It's at the hair ends it feels dry. So I don't know what that's about, but definitely the hair ends are not good. We have to cut them. The hair ends are no good. Now the next topic is tangles. As I'm combing my finger through the hair, there is a hesitation around the hair ends and that might play a part in, since it's dry, they're tangling at the bottom. So maybe after we cut the hair ends, it won't tangle, but we won't know until we actually do it, right? So my game plan for this wig will probably be to wash it and then cut the hair ends and then see how the hair ends are at that point. But right now, I'm a little, I don't know. But for sure, the hair ends is the problem. The hair pattern is Brazilian Water Wave. I love the Water Wave hair pattern. So I look forward to wetting this hair for sure and seeing the waves stand out even more than what they do right now. Volume, the hair is wavy so it does have good volume. It's nice and thick. The vendor says that the hair is 150. I will give it to them. This wig is about 150 density, but she moves, the volume is good. She has nice volume. So let's talk about the wig structure. 
This is the top of the headband wig. As you can see, there's a headband and there are no tracks showing, so the headband covers the tracks. This is basically a half wig with a headband connected to it. The headband itself feels soft, so I don't think that it will snag any edges away, which is good. My edges should be safe and sound while wearing this wig. So let's go ahead and turn the wig inside out to look at the cap structure. So on the front of the wig, they give you three wig clips, one on the left and right, and one in the center. You see the wig headband, and then this is the cap on the inside. So this is your front security with the three wig clips. Let's go ahead and flip to the back. They give you one back wig clip, and then two drawstrings with belt loops to hook the drawstrings. These are the drawstrings. The back wig clip with the loops. Here's a strap, here's a strap to put the drawstring through. And then the last thing I'm going to show you with this wig is the Velcro. So they gave you two patches on one side so you can adjust the cap to fit here or tighter at this one. So this is what makes this wig different from other headband wigs. Normally other headband wigs will give you just one Velcro on one side, one cube. This one gives you two cubes of Velcro and then a rectangle Velcro on the other side. So you can adjust the cap tighter to be at the top cube or loose to be at the bottom cube. So whatever feels comfortable on you, just make sure your wig is secure, okay? So that's all for this wig. Let's go ahead and try it on. Okay guys, so I have the headband wig on. It feels comfortable, it feels nice on my head. It does not feel tight at all. Super comfortable, so that's always good. So I will definitely be able to wear this wig for a whole day for sure. This is definitely an everyday wig. I would for sure wear this wig every day. This is a nice, quick, protective hairstyle to just Pop on and hit the door. Even though this wig is flawed, yeah, she has flaws, but I'm definitely feeling her. So overall, I'm rating this wig an eight out of 10, losing one point because this wig does shed, and then losing a second point because the hair ends are no good. The hair ends are sparse, they're dry, and they tangle. So they gotta go, okay? We have to cut the hair ends for this wig. Maybe after a good wash, the hair ends will do better, but you still can see through them. So personally, I don't like sparse hair ends. I don't like being able to see through my hair ends. So that's still a no for me. But this is the wig. I do like her. Flaws and all, I like her. I do, I do. I can't deny that. With her flaws, it's not going to stop me from wearing this wig, okay? Definitely not. Cause she's still cute though, okay? She's still cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and try on one of these little headbands that the vendor sent with the order. Just to give you an idea of what you're getting, you might get different headbands though. See, you probably thought I was going to try the pink one, but nah, you know I like to color block, so I wanted to try the other favorite headband that I received. And it looks good, it's cute. I like it, I dig it a lot. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that it was helpful. Give this video a thumbs up and comment down below what you think. Be sure to subscribe to Slate Secrets YouTube channel for more wig reviews. Until next time, I will see you in the next video. Bye.